During the heated debate, Detroit community leaders voiced deep concerns over the Biden administration's withdrawal from Afghanistan and current military policies, particularly those involving transgender issues. They passionately urged Donald Trump to reverse his woke policy if re-elected, praising his previous respect for the military. I look at how Joe Biden became the president and allowed Afghanistan to collapse and allowed our soldiers to die for, 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 it, for it's just, it angers me. And, and we have a president who loved our soldiers and we, we need to put our president back in office. And I just want to know, President Trump, Please don't allow our soldiers to walk around wearing red high heel shoes. The call for strong defense and unwavering respect for the military is clear. Criticism of Joe Biden's handling of the Afghanistan troop withdrawal underscores a conservative belief in the need for decisive and competent military leadership. For many, the tragic death of a soldier symbolizes the perceived failures in Biden's international and military strategies. The frustration among community leaders reflects a broader conservative sentiment that sees the Biden administration as ineffective in safeguarding U.S. interests and lives abroad. There is a strong opposition to woke policies, especially those deemed to distract from the military's essential duties. Donald Trump's controversial remarks about a soldier in red high heels serve as a pointed critique of policies around transgender inclusion in the military. Concerns abound that such policies might undermine the military's efficiency and cohesion by placing social and political agendas above its core functions.